Hey everybody, my name is Matter Wellens. Welcome to Maze. M-A-I-Z-E, Maze. I'm a little bit unsure what I should be expecting here, but let's read the description first. Maze is a first-person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the US government and create sentient corn. And that last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. Hmm. In case if you didn't know, the word maze means corn. So, I don't know, maybe that's a... That's a, just a small hint that maybe this game will be about corn. And from the description, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty humorous. So let's get started then. Not too sure what I'm expecting to show up, but it's probably gonna be sentient, and it's probably gonna be corn. What the heck? It's backwards. What the heck? Did I come from here? Um... Alright. It looks like I've been dropped off in the middle of a... Look, corn! What's over here? Oh. Can I go over here? Nope. I want to say my eyes deceived me, but I'm pretty sure we all saw three corn walking about. Ah. Is this going to be horror? <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. I think it would be totally acceptable if we just turned back and left the way we came. So, we don't we don't have to go this way. It's really okay. Was that me? Oh, it's the grass, I think. Water? Hmm. The house is that way. Ah! The ocean, the shore is that way. The house is that way. What the heck is this? Ooh. Oh. Whoa, is that a DNA strand? Should I put my hand there? A slot for a hand, a slot for a key, and a circular slot. Look. Hmm. Looks like it might be something we come back to later. That looks like top secret government stuff, alright. Hello? Wait. This is kind of like a maze already. And I don't mean the corn kind. Uh, guess I'll go this way. It is a dead end. That leaves me one... What? I pressed it. it it's right. <laughs> okay. I'm still pressing Q, by the way, periodically. Even though it told me it would do nothing. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. Ooh. Okay. Someone's playing office manager here. We'll be back in... some minutes? Oh. Mega oranges. Oh. Hmm. These oranges kind of look like they came in shoe boxes. Okay, what is this? There is a letter. Soap? <laughs> what is that? Oh. English muffin. 
You did a great job picking up that item. A new path is open to you. Oh, the circular slot. Oh no, what the heck? Hmm, I guess not. How do I read the note? I? Space? Space. A note, lazily scribbled, includes a stock reading and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, Open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Okay, that's a little bit strange because this is describing what the note says instead of letting me read what the note says. Oh, alright. Sure, we'll roll with it. Uh, should I eat the muffin? Hmm. Huh. I could go back to the door. Ah. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. Great hint, thank you. I'm thinking it might be for the circular spot, for the door, but we don't have the thing in the middle either way. The little DNA strand. Where am I going now? Something white on the tree. Oh, we're going to the house! Yep, I saw that. Okay, if we're going to the house, then maybe we should- Uh, whatever. Let's just go this way first. Ooh, the big door. Hey, people haven't been here for- Ha <laughs> That reflection. People haven't been here for a while. a lot of pots. Well, this is huge. I don't even know where to begin. Oh. Can I get that? Oh, we might have to open it from the other side. Hmm. Okay. I suppose the polite thing to do is to knock on the front door. Place an item. No, they're looking for something in particular. Okay. Oh, and that's blocked to me. Hang on. I came from that way. That way is blocked, but we haven't gone behind the house yet. It's a little bit tough keeping track of all these places. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh! Are there chicken in here? Ooh! Farmhouse key! Your mind explodes with the possible uses of this item, but you settle on key to unlock a nearby farmhouse and never think of any other possibility again. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for enlightening me. Was that a farmhouse, though? Huh. I thought a farmhouse would be like the stereotypical, you know, red wall with the X door, the white, white painted X door. Okay. <laughs> Th thanks for letting me know. Oh. Oh, is this the... It's an outhouse. A rusty nail. Can't pick it up. A mediocre rock. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that nail. I feel like we might need it, but it's not like I can do anything here. Where's my muffin? What happened to my muffin? There we go. 
Okay, well... I suppose we should go inside the house? There was also that other area that we didn't go into yet. But I assume we'll probably get a chance to check it out. Oh, we haven't tried this door yet. The back door. And we can't. Okay. Hmm. Very quiet here. Do, do I want to go in? Reindeers. Is this in Canada? Can we turn on the lights or something? Oh my god. An invoice for a carved wooden statue. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Wow. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree. Old oak tree. Carved statue out of oak tree and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. All 2,500, if you can see. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's very expensive. Someone's making a statue here. Should I? Oh my god, what is with the creepy... The painting, the painting, I don't want to look at it. It's kind of scary. Is that blood? Yeah, that is seriously creepy. <laughs> A really boring mystery novel. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. Night Danger. A Mick Murphy mystery. <laughs> That actually reminds me, when I was in high school, and you know how in English class, you have required readings. One of my friends- oh, and you don't buy the books you read. You get it from the school, right? So the copy that one of my friends managed to get, someone had written- it was a mystery novel. And someone had written the killer on the first page of the novel, so that wasn't very nice of them. And I'm assuming that's kind of like what that novel was like. The hell? What's- did someone do a face swap with the horse? Well, this room is colorful. What is with that paper with the paint on it? It's paint, right? It's not... It's not blood. Ooh. Bobby pin. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Ooh. No one's lived in here for a long time now. It's pretty broken down. What am I looking for here? A wobbly wardrobe. I can't get past it. Huh. It looks like I might need to place a... Yeah, I might need to place a box there. Okay. Seems like that's it for the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess... Oh, we haven't looked in the kitchen yet. That creepy... That creepy guy. This is like a face swap gone wrong. What's wrong with the faces of these animals? Oh! We have our item. Medicine? Nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in the wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. That's a pretty big hint. 
We can probably use it to get the nail jammed in the outhouse. What about this thing? This particular plug fits perfectly into the bathroom sink on the first floor of the farmhouse. It is also a talking plug, but due to a bad case of laryngitis, you will never know. Oh, okay. I can put it here. It's now plugged, but doesn't really seem like I can do anything. And I can't get it back, so it means I must have done it right. We'll just have to wait and see then. Rancid corn oil. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly you to walking straight into a wall. <laughs> okay. Gloved hand. Maybe, maybe that's for later then. A sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Can't. Something is jammed inside. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to know what. Storage house? <laughs> Press C to crouch. C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. One, two, no, okay. Okay, well, there is a cornfield outside, right? So this house belongs to the people who manage the cornfield. But for some reason, they aren't here anymore. They aren't here anymore, and we saw three walking corn plants when we first started. Not very promising. Okay, before we go back upstairs, I'm gonna go grab that nail then. With the nail clippers. Ah, nail, nail clippers, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not too sure if I would have thought of using that ever to get something out, but hey, thank you for telling me. We can avoid the whole situation with the point and click games, using items obscurely to do some action. There we go! For some reason, the first thing that pops into your head is that it would be a good conductor of electricity, possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. <laughs> huh. We must have not come across it yet. Well, okay. Can we run? Yes, we can. Nobody taught me that. There wasn't anything there, right? Okay, so now we come back in the house. Still, can't do much about this. Oh, a big circle over there. We still haven't been to that side yet. Yeah, we can't go here. And then back there. Let's try it out. Uh, it was here. Yep. And then... Oh. I'm not sure. A wobbly wardrobe. What's my purpose? I thought I was gonna step on this, but I just kind of put it in front of the wardrobe. <laughs> well, it's not any of those items. Which probably means we gotta um, go back to where we came from. Yeah! This is not the farmhouse, is it? It's saying the farmhouse is that way. The red walls and the X, the X door. That's what I was talking about earlier. Was that statue always there? Hang on. Okay, we came from this way. But here. That's new. It's... The owner of the house? It's the guy in the paintings. He seems like he might be a little bit of a narcissist. Broken shovel handle! Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful. But helpful if you wanted to tip something over. Ooh, like a wobbly wardrobe? You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you and would like to ruin its day. Okay. 
Ooh. Is that a windmill? No, not really. It's like a fan. Oh, but I can't go there. Which probably means I gotta go back and tip over. Oh, but while we're back here, though, we still haven't been to that place back here. Yeah. This is all very nice. But if I were the owner of the cornfield, I would assume that... Oops. That I would want to maximize the amount of corn I can produce. But instead, we got things like this garden here. Why? Seems like a waste of space to me. Especially that statue. Hang on. Was that the wooden statue that took like... Almost $10,000 to make? Is it wooden? I think so. <laughs> they must be rich, rolling in the dough. They must be pretty damn rich to be spending that much money on making a freaking statue. I say they. Cuz... There's two people, right? The man and the woman. Although we've seen more of the man so far. Compared to the woman. Can I... Ah! Did I really need something to tip that over? Ooh! The attic. Hello? Whole lot of stuff. Oh! The DNA! <laughs> WT40. <laughs> I was gonna complain about product placement. Oh? Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Ooh. Hmm. Well, it seems clear to me so far that this might all be a cover-up. We gotta find the lab. It's not... it's not a place for producing corn here. It's a place for researching corn. And somehow it seems like they've come up with... oh my god. A sentient type of corn. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. But remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. Ooh. Is that a... the nail? What am I putting here? I guess I don't know yet. What the heck? Oh, this is like ginseng. It looks like ginseng, but I think it's supposed to be corn. <laughs> Cup noodles. Someone's been researching here for a long time. Typewriter. So this must have been a while back then. It's so nicely trimmed. The cornfield. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't jump. Huh. Well, we've got that. Is there anything else we can do around here? The muffin! It's gotta be the circular object. But the bobby pin, we can pick lock something. Have we seen a locked door? I don't particularly know. And then... Oil? Gloved hand. Electricity. The mallet. Can we... Smash... This thing? Because something is jammed inside, right? Nope. Okay. Hmm. What are we looking for here, then? Oh, what about this? Still haven't done anything with this. Ah! Pour rancid corn oil in sink. The smell is worse than imagined. What should I do with this? 
Is there a reason why I did this? Okay. Huh. That's still stuck. Oh, I think I missed this earlier. Okay. Nope. Unlocking secret door. Making it much less secret, okay. Oh! What is this? Hello? Okay. I think I can see where the electricity part is coming in now. A fuse box. Missing a fuse. Using a rusty nail as a fuse. Against safety regulations, but I don't care. Is this a good idea? Okay. Cool. I don't know how safe that is. That's against regulations. I can hear it. When you can hear the electricity, I feel like that's probably a bad sign. Ah! Now we can get out. Okay, but that door is still closed. What did we do down here then? All we did was turn on the power. Ooh. Yeah, how come every painting is this guy? Every single painting. Actually, that does seem like a different guy from the statue. Hmm. Anything else around here? It doesn't look like there's anything, so I guess I will be making my leave. Up here? I'm not sure if we really needed the light. Because it's daytime anyway. Ah, but now we can look at this room. A CD. A new path has opened to you. To the barn and silo. Okay. So this seems like it was their living room. Hmm. Yeah, it's a different man. Huh. Okay. Top secret, says the CD. Three people in total. This dude, who seems to be photoshopped on random things all the time, and those other two people. Yeah, like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> the barn and silo, so I think that's this way. Oh. An old CD. Its label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Yes, I figured this out already. Thank you for telling me so late. Would have saved me a lot of time if you tell me earlier, you know? Yep, I've been doing that. What does that say? Bucket? Great. Kidney. Great kidney care? It's huge! Of course, before we go into the house, I feel like I gotta explore around it first. Ah, that's the silo! Okay. I guess we should... look at the house. Inside of it first. Hello? No farm animals. Horseshoe. Is that how they get attached to the horses? Oh. Corn of the world. 
a book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Ooh. Hmm. This is a lab experiment gone wrong, right? So maybe the no, no, no has to do with that. Good? Bad? Who knows? There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> uh, good for me then, good for me. I came just in time. One half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. Looks very important. Ooh, DNA helix. You try to eat it at first, but change your mind when you couldn't find any salt? <laughs> so it's that um, Da Vinci painting, or not painting, but the, you know the thing? With the human and then like people standing behind a human. You know, you know the one? Yeah, that one. Why is there a glove? Okay. I thought I could pick it up. Especially with the other item mentioning a gloved hand before. What was it? Oh, that was the rancid corn oil. Hmm. What is this? Why? What is this? Huh. Someone was working out here. In the farmhouse. Okay. I mean, it's not the best spot to work out at, I don't think, but... A, whatever you want. I guess we should head to the silo then. It's right here. Someone's been giving me directions this whole time. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, that might be locked. Is it not? Oh, electricity. Okay, well we can look a little forward. I'm not pressing Q! Stop! Stop accusing me of things! I only pressed it a few times. Oh! That's a... That's a real person, isn't it? Is this a real person? Severed hand. Gloved. A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. A very fashionable fedora. By a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Ooh. Maybe he's one of the house owners. Lab assistant, Fernando! It's the guy! It's this guy we're looking at right now! It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole, <laughs> whole time. So this Fernando, he was working on the lab... See, I'm turning around because there's something invisible here that's preventing me from walking around. And it makes me- yeah, right here. It makes me feel like someone is behind me. This guy! Was he touching this thing? And then he got electrocuted? Either way, it's been a long time since this happened. 
Why is there a toolbox? Alright. And that's blocked. Okay. See, I'm stuck there again. Well, I guess we can go back. We still haven't seen the silo yet. It's huge. Ah! The bobby pin. Ooh, spooky. We can't look around. The heck? Someone was holed up here. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead to absolutely nowhere. Why did we build all of this? Oh, so it's not even just a blueprint, it's been built already. Probably what the guys were doing here the whole time. Okay, let's see what kind of view you get here. Nope! Manufactured about a century ago. This telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was trying- looks like it was used frequently, with varying results. Hmm. The tops of low-hanging trees. So, to observe... Corn? The angling seems a little bit wrong, though. Well, we got some new stuff. But I'm not too sure what to... Oh! I know what to do. We can go back to the house and get the glove. Get the glove off the hand with the corn oil. Did we go here before? Very easy to... Whoa. Tractor. Alright. And we can't go that way. Hmm. I'm starting to get terribly lost. There's a lot of different paths here. But hopefully we'll make it okay. Okay. If we do that... Oh my god! Wait, we don't want the glove? We want the hand? Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Hang on. Ah, this is the hand we need for the lab, the lab door. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it, and it's not to start another round of high fives. Okay, I got it, I got it. Because it's like DNA proof or something, so we got this now. But we also need... Oh, can we play this somewhere? Oh, circular object. It might be this. It might not be the muffin. <laughs> But we still need the strand, the DNA strand thing. Hmm. I'm not sure what we have, that's new. Broom. A pile of something that we can sweep up with this. Have we seen that pile of something? Oh, oh, it's the, the thing in the farm. Hang on, there was a pile of stuff in the silo and I didn't do anything to it. Right, 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 here, here. Pile of corn kernels. Ooh. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. Well, I did try to stay there for quite a while earlier. Gah, I should have found this earlier because now we gotta backtrack again, goddammit. Alright, here we go. Warped key... Fob. Huh. Why was it inside a sausage grinder? 
This warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape, the mallet. At first, you try to do this by staring very hard at it. Didn't work, so you set up to find a tool that would do the job much better. Ah, okay. I think that means we gotta go upstairs and put it on the table. Because if we try to do it here, we'll probably smash our hands, right? Okay, where is that wardrobe? Here. This is still a little bit strange to me. Like, why do we need to... Um, does that really provide that much more force? Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. And then the mallet. Wow. Beautiful. This key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I think... I think we've done it. The last thing to do. We have the key fob. We have the hand. And we have a circular piece. Whether it's the muffin or the CD, I'm not too sure. But it's gotta be one of them. Am I going the wrong way? Nah. I think I'm going the right way. Maybe. Yeah. You know what's interesting though? Somebody smashed up that key fob so that we can't get in. The moment of truth. Okay, okay. A hand. The key fob. And how about a muffin? <laughs> God damn it. Fine, fine. What's that? Heard a twig. Hey! 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 Whoa! You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring! I'm Riddle President today, I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he oh, president right, every time? No, I've actually oh, I did been a vote for unclear him. on the election. Oh, we should have yeah. really yeah. that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh. I get to enter? Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Okay. You got that right. I kind of feel like I don't want to look around. Because what is that beeping noise? Bob! Told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted! Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. It seems like I can only press it at certain times. Ah! I ate a pellet. Does this help with the elevator at all? It's broken. We know the elevator is broken. Oh, but it doesn't... It doesn't count down unless if I eat it. I only got an English muffin with me. Is this my life now? 
I'm just gonna be in this. Am I unusually short, by the way? I feel like I'm really, really short. Maybe that's just a perspective thing. Ah! Okay, I needed to eat three pellets. It's that man. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? Bob. It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron! And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot! It was the wooden one that we saw. Ooh. Brochure. Welcome to censored. The future is censored. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Well, we've seen a little bit of that happening so far. They don't seem to mind me too much though. Bob McTavish, PhD, MA, BSc, DOP, ESQ, Founder. Sounds like a very learned guy. Oh, can we not? Oh. Doesn't seem like we can actually interact with it. I think we found the facility though. Ah, Ted is the small angry man. And Bob. Bob is the, the narcissistic one. No wonder Ted is so mad. He looks like he's gonna die earlier, too! Come on, Ted. You can't let people like Bob bring you down. What was that? <laughs> you saw that, right? What was that? Was that thing mopping the floor? There's a lot of seats around here. But nobody. Can I wear this? Made of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit, this jumpsuit, should not be worn by anyone. Okay. Clothing for the workers? I don't think I need to blend in though, because people, people, the corn, they were not surprised to see me at all. What am I doing here? I don't know. Warfare readiness report. Abject failure everywhere. Project Maze. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn has no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm. Oh. And have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Oh. It seems like they were training the corn to be soldiers. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, should I. Oh, I thought I was gonna put the coat on it. 
Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Oh, that might be a hint. Okay, we got some sort of FBI-looking intelligence room. Reserve power mode active. Pizza? Yeah, look at how old things are. The mice. Freaking old. Nobody is around here for some reason. There's a way that way, but let's check out the other way of the, the other end of the hallway first. Hiya, Ted! The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks! Bob, you dummy! There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? We still have it anyway. <laughs> so even if you complain about it, it seems like you don't care enough to actually do something about it. So far, not too sure what Bob and Ted's relation to this place is. Are they the scientists? Ted seems like he might be a scientist, but Bob seems like the... the millionaire funding the whole project. What is this? Okay. Workout room? Involving corn? Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet somehow, you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Some questions are better not answered. Like a changing room in here. Triumphant test report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant, as if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Is that a good thing or not? So they've been testing on different species of corn, and so far, it's been met with pretty bad results, but now... Is that just the music? But now, we have a breakthrough. The sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for shorter periods of time. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> I can already sprint, it's fine. Is this the shower room? Oh? Don't tell me that's soap. Okay, that's rock, okay. <laughs> A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining feature whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. Did you name that? Did you name that, or are you trampling on someone's territory here? How do you know it's Mabel? Hey man, you might be misnaming it! Maybe it has a name already. Okay... So we have all these nice facilities here, but nobody is here. Not a single person, or corn, or... No. Where was that mopping thing? The Chewbacca looking thing that walked across here! What was that? Oh! Be ready for a great year! Be active! Be inspired! Be everything! Be you! Corn? Oh, that red stuff on the corn. Oh, each of these are made by different kids. Claire. Like some other kids.
Well, this is the children's room. Is that gonna be important? I love naps! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bob, you lazy buffoon! I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job! Ted. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, halfwit! Oh, I thought there might have been, like, baby corn or something. Ooh. Okay. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Because <laughs> all Russian people are named Vladimir. <laughs> okay. We are going to have a ball! That's how you know it's not from current days. Who says that anymore? Regan. Alford. Alford. Kelton. Preston. Yeah, these are a lot of old names here. Colby? Marley? More importantly though, where do these names come from? How did I do? Wow. They are harsh. They have harsh rating systems for the kindergarten already. Or the, the daycare. Alright. So it mentioned that the teddy bear needed to be powered on. I wonder if we can hook that up for him. That door is closed. But not this side. Ooh. Whoa. There's a lot of things we can put down here. We don't have a keyboard. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. Yeah, Ted sounds like the scientist guy. Maybe Bob is the one funding him. I don't know, though, but if Bob was funding him, he shouldn't be yelling at him like that. Look at this old stuff. Bob, you disgusting slob! Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton! Oh. There's my keyboard. Hmm. Oh, am I putting the bear here? Not the muffin. Some type of... Some type of backpack? I don't have these things yet. Maybe I need to walk around a little more to find them. Oh, that's the coat rack. Isn't it? Upside down. No? Okay, well, we'll leave it here for now. Tour guide. Hmm. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research- Whoa, I thought we didn't have tours. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vat, and mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. What is a vat? Hmm. Huh. Oh, there is the brochure again. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Ah, remember? As in, same title, jerk. Hmm. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. <laughs> Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Well, Bob doesn't sound too bright. And he's pretty narcissistic, but at the same time... Ted isn't very nice either. He's been calling people names the whole time. Bob, you jerk! Put my ram back where it was! 
I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Ram. Ooh. Ripatron. Hey, is that the thing here? There we go. Whoa, we are like upgrading the bear or something. Okay. Seems... Seems like that's all the materials we have in here so far, so for the rest of it... We might have to look elsewhere. And I can't use the computer yet. Okay. Let's see where the rest of the stuff is. Probably here? What the heck? Hey! The corn! Are they looking at me? I feel self-conscious. They're not really doing anything. Cheese- Oh, so that's what it was. It's cheeseburger wrapping. It's mustard and ketchup. And it very clearly goes a certain way. Huh. Oh, this painting. Hey, it's Ed. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> Bob is doing this on purpose. Bob is living the life. Are we underwater? Huh. Seems so. Hi guys. Where is Bob and Ted now? Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. They're telling jokes. Shift schedule. A schedule outlining the work shifts of most of the facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. Ah, and that's why they're leaving sticky notes around. I guess that makes sense though, because you want someone who can be in charge the entire time, right? So... Yeah. Hello? They have hair and everything. But it doesn't seem like they really want to talk to me. If I go this way, will I find Bob? It's the freaking toilet! It's golden. Why? Oh my god. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good god, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? <laughs> the invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. He's not paying for it. Well, somebody's gotta pay for it. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is Bob... Ooh. Something behind that. Looks like this might have been... Hmm. This should be Ted's room. This is Ted's office. Ted's personal bathroom, maybe? Sketcher. A major improvement over the Sketcher 2000, as it features the ability to actually draw lines. Instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds, you feel like using it to draw a large face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. Wanna draw Bob? They're ignoring me, so I guess I will go to the other side. 
Yeah, it makes sense to me though. These are the two founders' room. Rooms. Oh, there's one more here though. Hmm. Someone with hoarding tendencies is here. Yeah, this is probably Bob's room. Another one of those paintings. A creepy painting. Bob, you disgusting slob! Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. Oh, so that's why instead of walking in like this, you see all the trails going back to Ted's office. Ooh! Military backpack, that seems like what we're looking for. Small screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver. Used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. Oh, probably where the RAM is. It's completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against a metal railing. Bob's storage spot. We don't know where it is, but it's where the RAM is. God, it's disgusting here. Huh. Well, it seems like there's not much else here. I don't know why he wouldn't just reuse the cups, but there's like 20 cups in this room. This guy, this guy's disgusting. We've seen that. Okay. If we have the backpack, I think we're still looking for something else though. The teddy bear can't be built yet. Here we go. But we're still missing whatever that is. We have a lot of things. Maybe we can use some of this. Hmm. Bob's secret storage spot. It mentioned here, right? I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. It's gotta be around here. Can't use the computer unless of the teddy bear is done. Let's find the spot then. Oh, hang on, is this the secret spot? <gasps> Extremely obvious fake panel. Hi, it's Ed. Just a heads up, I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. Bob. That's not how RAM works, Bob. Oh my god. But yeah, I guess we can finally build the bear now, unless we're still missing something, which I don't believe we are. Oh, how does this work out? No, I got the RAM! But... What? The old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. <laughs> oh! I thought we were typing on here, but I guess... No, this is what's happening. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Hello? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Un the stand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine, Vladdy, help. <sighs> he has hair. Why, guys, so many? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? Prepare to be insulted forever. Uh, is there a place you want to go? Oh! We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is. It's a helicopter! 
What? <laughs> da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter. No, give me a ride. We can all fit just climbing. My lucid drug. What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi. Chitania Vesela. What a rude contraption. What if you're just going to be like that? Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladi does not like it here. Okay, so that was roughly the first hour of Maze, and I gotta say it's a little bit of a mixed bag. There's a few really cool things, like the, the lighting, that dawn or sunset lighting, and the sound. Those were nice, but everything other than that felt more like a work in progress to me than a full-fledged game. Little things here and there, but I think the two biggest offenders are how the crouch button, we don't actually crouch, the whole character just shifts down the screen. Which is a little bit immersion breaking, but my main concern with this is really the, the writing and the jokes and the humor. I don't think it's up my alley. You know, the first few were kind of funny, but they keep reusing the same joke over and over again. Stupid. Moron. Halfwit. I've actually played a little bit beyond what you saw me cut off at just now, and... I don't see it changing. It looks like it's gonna follow the same pattern. Yeah, I think this game is missing a little bit more fleshing out. Something more than just the... jokes to pull it through. Yeah, this was the first hour of Maze. And I'll see you all next time.